The team behind MemGPT have been hard at work. Since I published my research paper review and intro tutorial on Friday, they've already released local LLM support and an integration into AutoGPT. Today, I'm gonna show you how to use an open source local model with MemGPT. And in the next video coming soon, I'm gonna show you how to use AutoGen with MemGPT. So, Let's go. So I'm gonna be doing this on RudPod because I can't run inference and record video at the same time without my computer absolutely hating me. But, but you can do this the same exact way on your local machine. What we're gonna be using is text generation web UI to expose an API based on the open source model we're choosing. But if you do wanna run it on RunPod, here's a few steps to do so. You're gonna click on secure cloud. You're gonna scroll down. You're gonna select a GPU. I'm gonna use this RTX A6000. Let's click deploy. I don't need to change anything, but if we click Customize Deployment, right here, 7860, that's the interface, and 5000 is the port for the API. So we'll just leave that the same, and then we click Continue and Deploy. And so this first step, we're just gonna be downloading the model and getting it set up and the API exposed so MemGPT can use it. Once we're here, we're gonna wait for it to fully load. Then we click Connect, and then we click Connect to HTTP Service, and we're gonna be using port 7860, that's the interface, because the first thing we need to do is actually download the model. Now, the model we're gonna be using today is Dolphin 2.0 Mistral 7B. It is a small-ish model, so I'm gonna go ahead and click copy, but I spoke to the authors and they said that the Aeroboros prompt template tends to work best. But for the purposes of just showing how to get it done, I'm gonna use this smaller model. Switch over to the model tab in text generation web UI. We're gonna paste that model card info and then we're gonna click download. And again, all of this is the same exact thing you would do if you were installing it on your local machine. I have a video going over how to install text generation web UI on your computer. I'll drop that link in the description below. And I also I wanna say a quick thank you to Charles and Vivian, two of the authors from MemGPT for helping me figure out a few remaining bugs. This stuff is cutting edge. This is all completely new, very raw. There's gonna be lots of bugs, but if you're watching this video and you're following along and getting this working, you are on the absolute cutting edge of artificial intelligence. But with it comes a little friction. Okay, it's done, it says done right there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the model loader transformers because this is an unquantified quantized model. We're going to click this little refresh button, which will load up the model that we just downloaded. Now it still has that bug where it selects the model, but if I click on it, it still selects none. So you have to click none and then switch back to the new model. Once we do that, we're gonna click this load button and it's gonna load the model into memory. Okay, successfully loaded. So one quick thing I wanna show you is click over to the session tab. And last time when we were using RunPod to power Autogen with a local model, I enabled this open AI flag right here. And then I applied extensions. We are not gonna be doing that this time. We're gonna be using the default API provided by text generation web UI. And so we're pretty much done. Next, we're gonna come up here to the URL and we're gonna copy the URL. Next, we're gonna follow the same steps to get MemGPT installed as we did on Friday. So git clone and then the GitHub URL, hit enter. And by the way, the authors already put together a MemGPT module, so you don't technically need to clone the repository, but I like doing that. I feel like I have a little bit more control, but if I were to use MemGPT in a production level project, I wouldn't do that. I would just use the module and install it. Now we're gonna change directory into MemGPT. CD MemGPT, hit enter. Next, we're gonna run the command export openai underscore api underscore base, all capitals, equals, and then we're gonna put the URL of the run pod instance and we're going to change one thing rather than 7860 as the port we're going to write 5000 and that's going to be the api and i'm going to remove that trailing slash and that's it hit enter and that's going to tell memgpt to use this url as the api endpoint instead of openai next we're going to set backend underscore type to web ui just like that export backend type web UI, enter. Uh, actually, I forgot to do one thing. We actually have to install the requirements. So let's go ahead and spin up a Conda environment and we don't need to change anything else. Everything else should work. The ordering didn't matter so far. So I'm gonna say Conda create dash N auto mem GPT Python equals 3.11.3, hit enter. Now I already have an environment named that and I wanna replace it. Okay, done. Now we're gonna activate the environment, conda activate auto mem GPT, and now we install the requirements. So pip install dash r requirements.txt. 
Okay, we're done. All right, now we just have to load it up. So Python three main.py dash dash no underscore verify. And that no underscore verify is what's gonna allow us to run this local model, hit enter. So it says found save config file, but if you're running this for the first time, you won't get that. And I'm gonna say no, cause I'm gonna set it up from scratch. Now this is a little bug. It isn't giving me the option of selecting my local model, but that's okay. We're just gonna select GPT four for now. Then I'm gonna select Sam as the persona. And then I'm gonna use the base user and then I don't want to preload anything I'm just gonna show you this working I'm not actually gonna go into a specific use case okay then we hit enter to begin and there we go it is hitting our new run pod open source API endpoint and that's it now let's say my name is Matt save that in your memory enter and let's make sure it works. And I still need to put a deep dive together on how to really get the most out of MemGPT, and I'm planning on doing that. If you want me to prioritize that video, let me know in the comments. I have a bunch of videos coming, and I don't know which ones to record first. So if you tell me in the comments, I'll try to prioritize those videos. And one thing to note is they have multi-line support now. So although I hit enter, it's not actually done. We have to hit escape first, and then enter, just like that. So now it's thinking, all right, user's name just got saved. So there we go. And I'll say, what's my name? All right, there we go. Your name is Matt. Perfect. So it is using a local model. Absolutely amazing. And that's going to be it for today. Right after this video, I'm going to record one on getting Autogen set up with MemGBT. And that's going to be awesome. So make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing that video. Thanks. See you in the next one.